Okay, so what do you guys know about termites? Very little. I heard that the, they, they can go very deep down they underground. Can, yes. About 50, 60 meters. Wow. Depending on how far they are from the water table. Because they go to the water table to get water. Moisture. What else? They are important food for certain animals. Important food, yes. But I don't know much of the, how they live and stuff like that. They are not. They, they are not like. They are not ants. They are something else. Yeah, they termites. Yeah. Okay. So the main enemy of termites is ants, because termites are vegetarians, ants are carnivores. Mm. Okay, so ants attack termites to get to the queen and to get to the eggs. Lots of food for them. Okay. But to start with, what do termites eat? I don't know. Wood or? Dead plant material. Okay. Okay. But they don't actually eat that. They break it up and they take it back. These are harvested termites. Okay, so they break it up into smaller pieces, take it back into the mound, and inside they have farmers. So the harvesters go, they drop it off with the farmers. Mm. The farmers put it in the soil, use it as a compost, and they grow a fungus, like a mushroom, mm. which is what they eat. Cool. <laughs> okay. So for a fungus to grow, what do you need? <laughs> Heat fungus. and humidity. Yeah. That's what fungus needs to grow. And that's what you felt coming out of there now. Yeah. Now the way they do that is first of all they control the temperature inside the termite mound. All of these little heaps that you see here are shafts. Kind of like chimneys. And that's how they regulate the temperature. They open and close them depending on the outside temperature. Inside this termite mound it's always between 27 and 30 degrees, no matter what the temperature outside. Inside, always between 27 and 30 degrees, because they need that heat for their food to grow. Okay, so the way they control it is by using the, the earth's heat. If it's too hot outside, they open, let the heat escape. They open the sides to let the heat escape. And if it's, too, if it's cold outside, they close it up to keep the earth's heat inside. Okay, architects are now studying them because we have not yet figured out how to do what they do. Because if we could build like termites, we would not need air conditioners or heaters. But we're not smart enough yet. So we're still learning from them. Yeah. Um, and then, this is very strong. You can have elephants standing on top of this, it doesn't break. And all the soil you see on top here is soil excavated from the bottom. So tunnels and chambers under the ground is as big as the outside here. So you only see, this is like the tip of the iceberg, the rest yeah. is underneath the yeah. ground. Okay, so all of this soil comes from underground where they open tunnels and chambers for the queen, the harvesters, the farmers, everyone to be able to live in harmony. Mm -hmm. Okay, so termites are not like ants. Ants hibernate in winter months. Termites work 365 days a year. Okay. Um, and also the main thing with termites is they struggle to work in the day because they, they don't have pigment so they die in sunlight if they spend too much time in sunlight they can die so now what they do on a lot of trees you might see this they build um, they build these tunnels and they work underneath the tunnels so that they can work in the day as well okay so termites don't rest they work year round and if it wasn't for termites we would be this deep in dead plant material and poop we wouldn't be able to move okay so termites are vitally important termites are also um, as mentioned before a very high food source high in nutrients aha proteins okay so very high in proteins and that's why we've even seen lions catching and eating them because it's extremely healthy for anyone, even for people. If you ever lost in the bush, these guys are good food. 
if you stick a branch in there, they have workers, harvesters, farmers, queens, soldiers, generals. The general is also a soldier, but he's bigger than the average soldier. He's, he bites a bit more, more so. Um, and if you stick a branch in there, all the soldiers attack the branch, you pull it out, you've got a branch full of termites. You take them all off, you make fire on a rock, you take the fire off, when the rock is hot, you put the termites. Then they bake and you can eat them. A handful like this and you're full. Very healthy food. Yeah. Okay, so the queen of the termite mound lives the longest. The queen lives for about 45 years. And the rest of the termites live for about 12 days. Okay, on average. Yeah. Yeah. And she controls, the queen controls the whole termite mound through pheromones, smells. Yeah. Okay, so she can smell. We, we just were attacked, we had, don't have many soldiers. And she lies eggs for soldiers. Yeah. She can decide what comes out of the egg that she lies. So she decides soldiers... Now we need workers, and then she lies eggs, workers come out. Okay. And she keeps this termite mound alive. Now, interesting about the queen as well, she is the best weather predictor in the world. Better than human beings. Because how many times has your weather station said that it's not going to rain, and it does, or the other <laughs> way around? It happens. It happens a lot. With her, she never makes a mistake. Because she lays, in, in, in summertime, she lays a very specific type of egg for a flying termite. Okay, so when they come out flying, they are all future kings and queens, but billions of them. You see them all over the place. They come out here like it's an upside down waterfall, just millions of them flying out. And um, those, maybe 2% of them survive. But their point, they are all future kings and queens. Their job is to find each other on the ground, find a place, dig in and start a new mound. But they don't succeed because they're such healthy food. Okay. So only a few of them succeed. And when they do, they need to be able to dig. So they need soft soil. Mm. So they need wet soil. Because hard soil is not soft. A dry soil is not soft. Mm. So the queen knows when to lie the eggs so that it hatches just after the rain. Any rain. If it's tomorrow, she lies the eggs just in time. Just when the rain stops, the eggs hatch, they come flying out. Hmm. And the soil is nice and soft, they can dig in and start the new colony. Okay. So, termites are... If you take all the termites out of the ground in Kruger Park, they weigh more than all the animals combined. <laughs> okay, and they also eat more plant vegetation matter than all the animals combined. Yeah. So even if you take all the elephants, the termites still weigh more. Anywhere you dig in Kruger Park, you will find termites. Because these termite mounds, you get big ones that are about twice, three, four times the size of this one. Mm. And then you get a few satellite ones connected to that one underground. Maybe 30, 40 meters away mm. with tunnels where they keep moving between them. But this is still the main one where the queen is. Okay. So... Very important that we don't overlook termites. Mm. They have a role that we can never do as humans ourselves. We will never be able to replace them with something artificial. Because what they do cannot be done by us. Which is why we're still studying them. Don't even know how to build the way they do. Okay, so very important as well. Um, is it the train I'm hearing? Are you guys also yeah. hearing? Yeah, the train. I think so. I thought it was a car because the rangers, the anti-poaching teams, also use this road. Oh. Oh. And if it's a car, I need to move. So I was constantly trying to figure out if it's a car or not. But I don't think it is. Where was I? Okay, yeah. So, as we said before, they go up to 50, 60 meters deep even sometimes. Specifically for the water table. Because they need the nutrients for their food to grow. Hmm. Okay, you can't uh, have the, the moisture for the food to grow. You can't have a fungus growing with no moisture. Okay, so they need the humidity, which is why they go all the way to the water table and bring soil with moisture to the top hmm. to use as they farm. Many people look at them negatively because they can be very destructive termites. I know in some other countries they destroyed a whole house 
where they just moved in. But at the end of the day, it's their instinct. Their instinct is to eat wood. So you can't really blame them for following their instinct. It's it's you used wood to build your house. Sorry, I mean you, you know what it's going to be like. Right? Yeah. So we don't have anything that eats bricks. Use a brick for your house, <laughs> and you have no problem. Very cool animals, termites. I find them incredibly interesting. There's so much about them that we still don't know. So when this termite mound dies, you will find bigger holes. For example, if the queen is killed by an aardvark or ants or whatever the case may be, because she does nothing. She, the whole day, she just lies there laying eggs. The whole day. She lies between eight and 30,000 eggs per day. That's just what she does. Yeah. Every single day, the whole day. They clean her, they feed her. She just lays eggs. Okay. And if she dies unexpectedly, then the mount dies. If she dies of old age, then she will lie a replacement egg for herself. So when she dies, the egg hatches, they have a new queen. Okay, so she keeps, that's why some of these mounds can be up to six, seven hundred years old. Because they keep, kept the mound going, they kept protecting it. They have four, five, six queens in a different, in the same mound. Yeah, but if we 